Hello, 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 everyone, and good morning to you all. My name is Ava, and this is Stitching in the Interlake, and I'd like to welcome you all to my channel. I live in the Interlake region of Manitoba in Canada, and so that is north of Winnipeg a little bit, which is our capital. And that, so uh, I hope you all had a good Easter. And I'd like to say, welcome to April. It's the 1st of April. I know it's April Fool's Day, but no, it's good. It's good. So, yeah. So anyway, just a minute here. I'm just threading my needle here. So just a second. And I will show you. Since we are in April, the April challenge is hats off to April. It's a very nice, I think it's a very nice challenge. And this is what I'm working on. So I'm just going to be starting here on the brim of her veil. And uh, so I'm going to work on that. Now, somebody said, I'm not going to do the background. Somebody had asked if this was going to blend in. Well, what I'm going to do is I'm going to take one thread of a gray or something and just outline like a darker, well, I don't know, dark, dark gray. But anyways, and I'm just going to outline it here and probably... A little bit here maybe I'll see but see it's got darker here so I might just do a little bit there we'll see so that's what I'm going to do and this challenge is is anything to do with hats head coverings like mine And um, so anything to do with, um, you know, as long as there's something in there <laughs> that you can say, oh, that's a hat, um, chapeau, um, in Ger German hoot, um, a toque, um, anything anything at all um i know that rana is doing one and it's got a flower <laughs> good good call i think christina is doing one that it's a cat with flowers <laughs> go for it go for it and in a little bit, I will tell you what is coming up for May. I'm going to drag it out a little bit. And, um, yeah. And I know what's coming up for June. No, um. So I know what's coming up for May. It's May into June that I still have to. But I I got maybe a couple of ideas there. I got a couple of ideas. I know what the challenge will be for June. Like to do for July, right? Because I'm always one month ahead. So I know that one already. And, um, so yeah, so we'll see what happens. Um, so yesterday it was, it was wonderful. We had a beautiful mass and, um, father was, um, he did, he did a beautiful mass, a, a beautiful, um, homily um yeah it was it was just wonderful it was just wonderful 
Um, what was I going to say? So then, <laughs> for last year, I was constantly asking Father, are you coming over for lunch? Are you, you know, do you want to come for lunch? And everybody would take him out to the Havikin for lunch. So then, <laughs> he said, he said, um, he said, is it, is it okay if I come over for lunch? And I was just like, oh. <laughs> he kind of blindsided me. And uh, I didn't have my dishes done. I had my vacuum cleaner still. <laughs> I, had all that. I have all these magazines all over the place. But I said, uh, yeah, okay. <laughs> So I quickly came home and I started heating up water for tea and he he had his own lunch. They had given him something. I don't know if it was in St. Laurent or in Lundart this morning. So he had that for lunch. And um, so... Then, um, uh, so I quickly came over to the house and I tidied up as much as I could. <laughs> this place is in a whirlwind. I got magazines stacked up all over the place. Like, unbelievable. Unbelievable. So, yeah. So, uh, he came over and we had lunch and we had really good conversation. Excellent, excellent, excellent conversation. It was, it was wonderful. We talked about our beloved Justin. And beloved, I mean, like, right? So, anyways, um, and we talked about the, the bridge there that fell in uh, Baltimore. And so oh, just about all kinds of things. The new climate stuff, the climate tax that takes effect today. So that means everything goes up, I would say almost 25%. Plus, we pay tax on tax. which is not good. I think that's terrible. So, anyway, so then we were here for, or he, we chatted uh, until about 10 after two, and then he had to go because he had to go over to Lake Man. There were baptisms to, uh, yesterday. And, um, plus the Easter Mass. So then I sat back and I stitched. Excuse me. Yep. So, but otherwise, that was it. Oh, I chatted with Christina the rest of the afternoon. And she was up and down. I was up and down. <laughs> it was just, we didn't get as much time to chat as we normally do. So, this Sunday... This coming Sunday, which is the 7th of April, there will be a live. 
God willing, of course, there will be a live. So, yes, oops. Now, I can't remember where I got this from. I saw it there this morning and I did not. Oh my gosh. It was back last year. Uh, I can't remember. Uh, let me see where I go. Um, paint some way. And um, I paid five ninety. Or, well, it it was five ninety nine for this, which is a very reasonable price, and I'm very happy with it. So, and that was back, did I even say <laughs> when it was I got this? It was, um, let me see here. Uh, let's see here. No, nope, not that one. Uh, the 5th of August. So it's been quite a while. And I was just waiting for the right time to do this. So, well, I guess I'm going to tell you what is coming up. What is coming up in um, in May? <laughs> I can't even find where I... Am I even sitting on it? I'm sitting on it. Oh, no, I ripped it. Oh, gosh. All right, I have to take that up. I just want to show you the... Um, um, let me see here if I can find this. Um, is it in here. Da, 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 da. Uh, or is it only the front? Yeah, it's only on the front. No. So, for May, and I hope there's wide parameters for this, okay? So don't just, always remember, you don't have to um, um, you, could, you can think of anything, and I'll get to that in a minute. So I have decided, and this is what I'm going to do for May. So for May, are you ready? The theme is jungle fever. And this is what I'm doing. Okay. This is what I'm going to do. Now, the reason why I got that is because she looks like she came out of the jungle, right? Just like here, I don't know if that's a gecko and I don't, I don't know what else is all in here. It's like there's uh, birds and it almost looks like it's Mayan in nature. Yeah, so this is what I'm working on. And I'm not sure where I got this from, but I know I got it last year. I had looked it up. So another thing, just as an idea, okay? And 
is that, okay? So you can see there's jungle cats, tame cats. Yeah, the whole bit. I'm just saying that this is an option, right? But whilst I was sitting here and thinking, I was thinking, what else is jungle? Because it's jungle fever, right? And jungle can also be, I, I'm, sh I'm sure some of you have heard of this term, concrete jungle, right? So like New York City is a concrete jungle, right? Because of all the buildings and it's, uh, you know, I've seen pictures. I know Toronto is like this too. You get into downtown and the buildings are all there and it's like you're going through at night because it's so dark because the sun can't get in there. Right? So you can work on something like that. You can work um, like jungle could mean um, you can work on something from the Amazon. You can work on something from the Congo. You can work on something from... Um, Florida, from um, the Philippines, um, Indonesia. Um, you can do something that is, um, if you like a lot of plants, right? They will refer to that as jungle, right? So if, say, you've got... Um, uh, kit and, or a pattern and it is on a porch and they've got all these plants around and, and you feel like you're in the jungle. You know, it can be a resort. Right? So you go off to, not a winter resort. What, what I think about is like on Fiji or, um, Bali or something like that, you know, that you're there at a resort and, and there's, you know, all the trees around. It can be Hawaii. I think Australia, part of Australia, New Guinea, that kind of thing. So I'm eager to see what y'all come up with. So please remember that for May's challenge, it is jungle fever. And if it is that in uh, your mind that it's, uh, it's a jungle, then it's a jungle. You know, you can work just where you have a lot of palm trees or, or ferns or, you know, you can um, even do like a fairy garden, you know, that has leaves and, and um, things. Because if you think of a fairy garden only being like this tall, all kind grass can end up being a jungle, right? So, yes, yes, yes. So I'm looking forward to that. So now I have to think of something for June's challenge. I know what's coming up for July's challenge. So, well, maybe I will do it that
I think I'm going to change that. I'm going to do for June. Yeah, it's, I already have it for June. So that one should be interesting. So you're, you're going to have to wait a month <laughs> to uh, find out what will be coming up for June. And I think for many of you, it's, it's going to, it's, um, I think you can probably, you'll find something out for that. So, yes. So I hope you like that, that that's going to be for May. And I was sitting here and I was thinking, oh, gee, you know, um, what can I do? Oh, you can do African, right? Because Africa, I know there is, like you'd think on safari or um um you know the savanna or something like that but it's also that africa does have a lot of jungle in it so you can do something like that So, I do know that my jungle lady, I don't know what it, jungle princess, I think is what it's called or something. I don't know. Um, it's not going to do for what's coming up in June. I, I know that right now. So... Yes, yes, yes. So, I hope you like that. I hope you like that. It's, um, I just, I, I know I had been looking through my, um, kits and I thought, oh, you know what? I've got that one. I'd like to work on that one. I, uh, this, um, uh, that one is a, um, 11 count. And I wish they would bring them out more into 14 count. So... So, yeah, so I have dishes to do... Tomorrow afternoon, I have my DBD, DBT class. And then on Wednesday, I, uh, Juliet and I were going to Arburg so I can get Susie, give her a tune-up and and get her oil changed in that to um, make sure that she's all good. Because I don't want to be, when I have to travel to, say, Winnipeg or something, that something happens. Yeah. So... So yeah, so we'll see how far I can get here on Mother Teresa. I like this for several reasons. I like Mother Teresa. I really, I think she was an awesome woman. She had such grace and dignity. 
and um, had um, gentleness and she was, uh, she sacrificed for the people of Calcutta. She really did. I think her order was Sisters of Charity. I think. That, that seems to ring a bell for me. I don't think it's Sisters of Mercy. I think it's Sisters of Charity. I think I could be wrong on that. I don't know. So, um, yeah, so otherwise, not much else. It's just going to be a quiet day. Like I said, I've got, um, dishes to do. And uh, I'm just going to, um, to stitch. I need to get some um, boxes. So I'm trying to pack up these books that I've got. Because I want to try and get these bookshelves out of there. Oh, I was going to ask. Does anybody know what I can do with old flour? Old flour. And I've got two big bags, 10 kg bags. I think they're 10 kg bags of flour that have lost their lift. And because I know before I was trying to make bread with it and it always failed. So. Yeah, because I would like to, um, otherwise what I was thinking of doing was loading it up into Susie and taking it out somewhere on a back road and just dumping it. So... Such a waste, too. Like, if you didn't need something to be leavened, it would be great, I think. But I don't know how to make stuff with it. Like, I know that you can add lots of baking powder and stuff like that to help it rise. But I don't do enough of raw baking. I don't know if you can use that for cookies. Anybody got any idea? Any idea? Otherwise, sometime this week, I'm going to take it and just dump it on a back road. So, 
because I don't want to put it in the garbage because they won't take it. It's too heavy. So. Yep. So I guess that's it. I will show you here in a minute how far I have here so far on Mother Teresa. Now, I had to be very careful when I looked here at the numbers here because they had the numbers here and I was looking at, no, wait a minute, is it over here? No, 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 over here. That, yeah, that you gotta be very careful here because I took this as number five and that and it, it none of it added up and I was looking at it and I was going gee three four one uh no that's supposed to be a purple and I couldn't get it and then I realized they had the numbers the numbers were so um if you look at them at a certain angle the five looks like a six the, the, the six looks like an eight so always make sure, always wait, make sure. Okay, so this is how far I got here right now. I've been working here. So I'm going to work on this part here today. I don't have much of this. I've only got one uh, six strand thread. So there's not much of it. I, got, I don't know if this is it up here. No, that's a different green. A little bit over here. No, that's where I'm working. <laughs> um, there's not much. I think that might be the only place where it is. I think so. Yeah, right here. So, but I'm going to take this with me when I go to uh, Arburg on Wednesday. So, may you be happy, may you be healthy, may you be well. May God bless you this day and every day. God loves you, and so do I. And so does Miss Twinkle Toes yourself, Miss Lily Bell, and Jonah, who's up in the cat condo. My Easter cactus is just blooming. I've got spiked flowers like this big. Ah, oh, it's so beautiful to look at. It bloomed for Christmas, and now it's bloomed again for Easter. And it was just beautiful. Just beautiful. It's a lovely thing to look at. So, uh, so I'm looking forward to seeing pictures of what you're going to be doing for May's challenge which is jungle fever i'm looking forward to that yes 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 and you can make almost anything fit right i don't know if a winter being out there in the in the forest is the forest considered a jungle i know they're like i said concrete jungle and, um, you know, whatever else that there is, right? There's a fly there. Okay. <laughs> it looked like it was enormous, but it's only just a very tiny thing. Just flew right in front of the camera. All right, everyone. 
Thank you, Jesus, for being my Lord and Savior. Thank you for saving me from my sins. Thank you for being there in my darkest and deepest moments. Thank you for loving me like you do. Thank you for caring enough for me that you would die on the cross for me so that my sins would be forgiven. And that's a prayer I pray for all of you as well. All right, everybody, have a fantastic Monday and welcome to April. Welcome to April. And if you're just new here, please always remember to like, share, subscribe, comment. There's the dedicated Facebook group, Stitching in the Interlake. And all you need to do is give me the name of one of my two living sidekicks. And my dedicated email address is Stitching in the interlake at gmail.com. Really easy. Really easy. All right, everybody. We'll see you tomorrow. Tiddle littles, everybody.